Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song, along with uh, Ecclesiastes' uh, book. So we'll be reading that along with the rest of this. So, uh, before I get started, I'd like to greet you as always, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and hope and pray that He's your Lord and Savior today. Amen. And so today's topic is titled, it is the veteran. Amen. But before we get started, we're going to do the scripture song for today, which is Titus 2.13. And it says, Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So I hope you're looking for that blessed hope. All right. So let me go ahead and we will turn here to... Hold on a second. Turn to the fifth here. All right. Now let's go ahead and press play. I'll press play and you can sing along with uh, Brother Dean and Sister Patty and myself. Amen. All right. Titus 2.13. Looking for that blessing. Amen. And the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Looking for that blessed hope. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Looking for, looking for, looking for that blessed hope. Looking for that blessed hope. And the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. Put that back there at the beginning and do that a couple more times along with the review scripture song from yesterday. Amen. So let's get started here on Sunday, July 5th, on the topic of It is the Veteran. And our author today is, uh, I believe that's uh, Guy Goodall. Make sure that's correct here. Yep, Guy Goodall, uh, pastor of uh, Bible Baptist Church in Hudson Falls, New York. So let's uh, see here. This does looks like a quick, short uh, devotional today. So let's read uh, the scripture here first. And it says here in Luke 3.14, And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, and what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. Luke 3.14 And so we have this little poem here, it looks like. So we'll read it. And it says here, It is the veteran, not the preacher, who has given us freedom of religion. It is the veteran, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of the press. It is the veteran, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the veteran, not the campus organizer, who has given us the freedom to assemble. It is the veteran, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. It is the veteran, not the politician, who has given us the right to vote. It is the veteran who salutes the flag. It is the veteran who uh, serves under the flag and is buried by the flag so the protester can burn the flag. Uh, author Anonymous, submitted by Guy Goodall. Mm. That's uh, quite a little thing there. So, but uh, we know that uh, shouldn't burn the flag, but uh, the protester likes to burn the flag. But uh, praise the Lord that we have our freedoms because uh, and our liberties. Amen. And uh, we should thank the veteran for all that they do. And anybody that served in any type of military, praise the Lord for them. Amen. So that was a interesting little uh, poem there, a little uh, thing there that this person wrote. I don't know who it was, but it was submitted by uh, Brother Guy Goodall. Amen. So, there you have it. Short and sweet. But, uh, shouldn't burn the flag. <laughs> Amen. Alright. Well, 
that will do it for our topic on it is the veteran and so if you see a veteran thank them for uh their service amen praise the lord for it all right so now let's go ahead and turn to ecclesiastes chapter number five as we read through these chapters of ecclesiastes and it says here in chapter five verse one keep thy uh, foot when thou goest to the house of god and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools for they consider not that they do evil be not rash with thy mouth and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before god for god is in heaven and thou upon earth therefore let thy words be few yeah that's a good advice for a dream cometh through the multitude of business and a fool's voice is known by multitude of words. When thou vowest a vow unto God, defer not to pay it, for he hath no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. Better is it that thou shouldest not vow, than that thou shouldest vow and not pay. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin, neither say thou, before the angel, that it was an error. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice, and destroy the works of thine hands? For in the multitude of dreams and many words there are also divers vanities. But fear thou God. Amen. If thou seest the oppression of the poor, and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province, Marvel not at the matter, for he that is higher than the highest regardeth, and there be higher than they. Moreover, the profit of the earth is for all. The king himself is served by the field. He that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he that loveth abundance with increase. This is also vanity. When goods increase, they are increased that eat them. And what good is there to the owners thereof, saving the beholding of them with their eyes? The sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he eat little or much, but the abundance of the rich will not suffer him to sleep. There is a sore evil which I have seen under the sun, namely riches kept for the owners thereof to their hurt. But those riches perish by evil travail, and he begetteth a son, and there is nothing in his hand. As he came forth of his mother's womb, naked shall he return to go as he came, and shall take nothing of his labor, which he may carry away in his hand. And this also is a sort evil, that in all points as he came, so shall he go. And what profit hath he that hath labored for the wind? All his days also he eateth in darkness, and he hath much sorrow and wrath with his sickness. Behold, that, that which I have seen, it is good and comely for one to eat and to drink, and to enjoy the good of all his labor, that he taketh under the sun all the days of his life, which God giveth him, for it is his portion, every man also to whom God hath given riches and wealth, and hath given him power to eat thereof, and to take his portion, and to rejoice in his labor, this is the gift of God. For he shall not much remember the days of his life, because God answereth him in the joy of his heart. Amen. All right, so that is the end of Ecclesiastes chapter 5. Amen. And so now let's go ahead and sing today's scripture song again, and then we'll do yesterday's, which was from 1 Thessalonians 4, 15 through 18, and then we'll do today's again after that. So let me press play here. Amen. Titus 2, 13. Praise the Lord. Looking for that blessed yes, hope. let's look for that, that blessed hope. Amen. Of the great God and our Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. 
Looking for that blessed hope. Looking for that blessed hope. And the glorious appearing of the great God. And our Savior Jesus Christ. Looking for, looking for, looking for that blessed hope. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, so let's do yesterday's. And yesterday's was from 1 Thessalonians 4, 15 through 18, talking about uh, us being caught up to meet the Lord in the air. If you're saved, that is, have that to look forward to. So let's uh, get excited about uh, looking for Jesus coming to gather us away. And when he calls us up, amen. So let me press play here and we'll sing that song. 1 Thessalonians 4, 15 through 18. Amen. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive uh, right. and remain Rain. unto the coming, coming of the Lord shall not prevent, prevent them which are asleep. asleep. Amen. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with, with the trump of God, God. And, and the dead, dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the, in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Amen. Go. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord. That we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord. Shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up. Caught up, caught up, amen, to meet them with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord, where we wish our alive and remain shall be caught up. Which are alive and remain shall be caught up, caught up, caught up, together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore? Comfort one another with these words. Amen. All right, now we do today's Titus two thirteen. Two thirteen. Looking, Looking for, for that blessed, blessed hope. Amen. And the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Looking for that blessed hope. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Looking for, looking for, looking for that blessed hope. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God. And our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, tomorrow's scripture song for the 6th will be from 1 Corinthians 4, verse 5. 
and it says, Therefore judge nothing before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts. And then shall every man have praise of God. Amen. And tomorrow's topic will be titled, let me go there, for tomorrow will be Run Your Race. And the verse, the scripture will be from 2 Timothy 4, 7. So I hope you'll come back tomorrow for that. And um, today's was titled, It Is the Veteran. And we had a little uh, thing here from this author, which was anonymous. And it was submitted by uh, Brother Guy Goodall. And it was talking about the veteran and uh, what he has uh, given us. Amen. And so we should thank veterans if you run into one. Thank them for their service. And the uh, verse was from Luke three fourteen, And it said, And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. Luke three fourteen, Amen. And uh, so you can go back and listen to that from the beginning about the veteran. Amen. All right. Well, that'll about wrap it up for today. And before I go, and I give you the website to uh, go learn the scripture songs on your own time by going to www.dailyscripturesongs.com. And uh, you can also pray for Brother Dean and Sister Patty and all those that are doing the work in Guyana while they're away. And pray for other missionaries and pray that uh, they be able to get back into these countries uh, since we're all on lockdown and no flights are going out and pray that that will all come to an end and this virus will uh, just diminish and we can go on and keep serving the Lord and pray for our freedoms and liberties. Amen. All right. Well, I hope you've trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior. If not, well, today is the day of salvation. So I hope you'll trust him and call upon his name so he can save your soul. Amen. All right, says as the Bible says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay, well, may the Lord richly bless you until next time, and we'll be back later on for the Bible reading as we continue through the book of Psalms. So hope you'll come back later on for that. Amen. Until then, see you all next time. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.